How to fix unfortunately system UI has stopped working. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimal from App Guide. In today's guide video, I will show you the way on how you can fix if your system UI has stopped working. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So first of all, what you have to do is if this type of error usually happens, the very first solution is to simply actually restart your Android phone because you're having this kind of error because your Android system is not responding. So all you have to do is simply press the power button for at least seven to or two to three seconds. And you have to simply go ahead and then restart your Android phone. Once you restart your Android phone, verify whether the issue has been fixed or not. The other reason why this is also likely possible is because you have been using third-party launchers or apps. So if you're using the third-party launcher, the launcher could not be compatible with your version of Android system and that could most likely fix the issue. So if you have any of the such kind of themes or plugins that you're using for your Android smartphone, you want to make sure to simply uninstall all of those. Lastly, what we will do is we will simply update our smartphone. In order to update our smartphone, we will go ahead and then open up the settings app. Once we open up our settings, what you have to do is on the list of settings, you want to look for the app option called software update. So sometimes you may not see directly the option called software update. You may need to go into the about phone section and then locate it. But once you find software update, simply tap on it. As you tap on software update, you'll be able to see the latest version of Android version that you're using. In my case, it is Android 10 which I'm using on Realme UI. If you have, let's say Android 12, if you've gotten the Android 13 update as well, you could simply go ahead and then update it to those versions. And hopefully this would most likely fix the issue. We hope the video was really helpful. And if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.